Well, it is primary election day, and several Mississippi candidates are up for re-election in the U.S. House. 12 News' Leah Williams joins us live from Congressional District 2. Leah, how's it looking out there? Well, Melanie, it's starting to pick up just a little bit here at Christ United Methodist Church. But overall, voter turnout has been extremely low as expected. Mississippi is one of seven states holding primary elections today. And here in District 2, Representative Benny Thompson is up for re-election. Thompson has been a congressman since 1993 and is running against California native Jerry Kerner. Kerner is a small business owner in Clinton, Mississippi. Now, voters say it was important for them to come out and exercise their right to vote in every election. Well, it's important that we all vote. It's, you know, everybody's vote matter because you can't get change if you don't do your part. Every, all of us have to do our part. Although turnout has been low all day, poll workers expect a rush whenever more people get off the of work tonight. Now, 12 News is your local election headquarters, so stick with us throughout the night for updates on tonight's primary election. Now, I'll toss things over to 12 News, Tao Ta, who is live in Congressional District 3. Tao. Well, Leo, we are seeing more voters line up here at the First United Pentecostal Church of Brandon. And it's been a good voter turnout so far. 3,000 registered voters are just in this precinct. And so far, 600 have come out to vote, just to give you an idea there. But there are four congressional. Mississippi does have four congressional House seats that are up for election. Now, three of those seats are held by Republicans. And the state's third congressional district has incumbent U.S. Representative Michael Guest. He is running for re-election against Thomas Griffin as well as Michael Cassidy. Now there is only one Democrat who's running in the primary election. I did catch up with the Brandon resident who tells me it is her civic duty to vote year after year. Um, I just want to be proud of my country and um, we love living here and so we want to vote for people that um, we appreciate who work hard for us and who take the time to, um, you know, want a better life for us here. So I appreciate voting and um, thanks for letting us do this. It, it is a, an honor to vote. Lots of men and women gave their life for us to be free in this country. And um, it's just an honor. Now, you do have until 7 p.m. to make it out to the polls. This is considered a new voting precinct at the new that the First United Pentecostal Church located off West Government Street. And, of course, David 12 News, we are your local election headquarters. Live in Rankin County, Tell Talk 12 News. Deidre? Fantastic. Yes, we are here in the 4th Congressional District where there will be nine candidates, seven of which are Republican. And then you have two Democrats that are local to Hattiesburg and the others are on the coast. This polling precinct has seen some traction this morning, but things have slowed out throughout the day. And now it's at 5 o'clock after rush that is coming in. And if you can hear behind me, there is a lot of cars kind of pulling into the parking lot and people are here to participate. Participate. One pastor I spoke to today says that he believes a lot of people weren't participating throughout the day because they don't believe that their voices are heard. Well, he has some advice for them now. In the region that we're in, a lot of people feel like that their voices are not heard because they uh, choose a certain side to vote on or choose a certain person to vote for. Um, but I think that it's very important for people to understand that regardless of uh, what side that they choose or wherever they go or whatever poll that they go to, that their voice matters. Grab a friend or a family member and take them to the polls with you. You have until 7 o'clock. Reporting in Hattiesburg, Deidre Briscoe, 12 News.